Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Before I started, I primed my eyes with Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and now I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, and I'm applying that to my crease. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Latte on a little bit of a more dense brush, and I'm applying that a little lower than the first color. And now I'm just taking that original brush and blending it out. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Mocha and I'm doing the same thing as I did with Latte. And I'm just deepening the crease, getting it prepared for the black. And now I'm tapping off the excess and then I'm just going to blend out that color. And now I'm going back in with that original brush and I'm just going to blend it out. As you can see I go back multiple times to keep blending to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia World Traveler palette and I'm taking the Noir which is the black color and I'm just applying that again the same way that I did the last two colors. Just lightly applying it to the crease and starting to blend it out. Once I have the product how I like I clean off the brush and then I just start blending in small circular motions back and forth. And then I'm going to take that original brush and just go let, blend it together. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going back into that palette and I'm taking the fudge color and I'm just going to start applying that right where the black meets the lighter browns and this is just really going to help blend things out and take away any choppy harsh lines. This color really helped to just take away any of the ashy tones that were in the black that just made it look messy. Once again, I just go back in with that same brush over and over again and just keep running over my work to make sure everything's blended. And now I'm going to take Peach Smoothie once again and just very, very lightly go over it just to make sure that once again, everything is smoothed out. And then one last time with just a clean brush with absolutely nothing on it running back over my eyes. Now I'm taking my Inglot Gel Eyeliner number 77 and just with my finger just applying a light amount onto the lid where I'm going to apply a black shadow just so that it's more intense and inky. <laughs> And now once again I'm going in with the same black shadow and I'm just applying it right over the gel liner. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I applied the black with originally and I'm just going to slowly start blending back and forth. And then once again with a different brush to just to clean everything up. And now I'm going to go in with that palette and I'm going to go into Morocco with just a tiny bit and this is just going to add a little bit of warmth to the look just to make sure that everything is smooth and blended out. 
Now I'm going to take my Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes and these are so beautiful. And now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Skin Base. It's just a sample and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm cleaning any black that may have fallen down under my eyes. And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation and I'm going to apply that. And I started with a beauty blender and I didn't like that it was soaking up most of the product. So I switched to a Sigma F80 brush and I just applied that. <laughs> and then I went back in with a second layer on places where I wanted more coverage because this is a lighter, more luminous foundation. just filling in my brows the same way I always do with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then I'm just going back in with my beauty blender to make sure everything is blended out. Now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm just applying that under my eyes, my nose, my chin, anywhere that I want to highlight. Blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I wanted a little more highlight on my cheekbones so I just added a second layer. going to put some uh, translucent powder under my eyes to bake so that there's no creasing and then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and just apply that to the areas that I'm going to bronze and put blush and highlight. And now I'm taking my Kat Von D Contour Kit and I pointed to the pink shade but I meant to point to the yellow and I'm just going to further highlight under my eyes with that to make sure everything's bright and there's no darkness. And then I'm also going to apply that powder to the other areas where I put the concealer. Now I'm going in with Hoola and I'm just going to bronze up my whole face with my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. take my wet and wild contour kit and I'm just going to apply a little bit of the contour shade just under my cheekbones and on my temples just to contour my face slightly. And now I'm going to take my Tarte blush and I'm just going to apply that onto my cheeks. It's just a really nudie pink color. I'll have everything listed in the down bar below so please make sure to check that out. And now I'm going to blend that out with my MAC dual fiber brush and then move on to highlighting with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and I'm just going to heavily apply that to my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, my lip, everywhere that I want to be highlighted. <laughs> And then I'm going to run back over that with my blush brush just a little bit to make sure it's not a stark line. And now I'm just going to spritz my whole face with my MAC Fix Plus. And now I couldn't take my crazy hair anymore so I blow dried it and straightened it. And now I'm moving on to mascara. I'm just applying it to my tops and lower lashes. I decided to not do anything on the lower lash line, just keep it really natural and I like the way it turned out. And I got some mascara on my nose, so I'm just going to let that dry completely and wipe it off. And now move on to the lips. I'm taking MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, and I'm lining my lips. And then I'm going to finish it up with Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick, and that will complete the look. If you liked it, then please subscribe and like this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.